swift as the wind. My lord, the darkness approaches. Only by drawing together can we survive. We must join an alliance so that we can move in lockstep with our allies. Alliance members can help you to dramatically reduce the time it takes to build, research, and heal. Alliance members can also send troops to reinforce our city when the enemy attacks and join us in defending against them. My lord, you have joined an alliance. This is our first step towards fighting back against the darkness. Allow me to explain a little more about how alliances work. Banding together with other alliance members' cities is the only way to fight the coming darkness. My lord, please follow me to the location the of your alliance us. leader. the arrow button in the upper left corner and select Relocate to move your city to a location close to the Alliance leader. There's a gentle breeze today. I am Guanwin of Moonvale. May the moon bless all beings. I could not fully introduce myself before due to the heat of battle. Allow me to present myself, your grace. I am a daughter of Clan Golanadel of Moonvale. I served as the captain of our household guard. I served with distinction at the Battle of Pinebark River, so I am not a complete stranger to real combat. I am a master of the bow and arrow, if I may be so immodest. I would be happy to advise you on all matters of archery. Thank you for your trust. I will take my duties seriously. Please accept these as a sign of goodwill from Moonvale. of use to our forces. Hmm. Could this be of use to our forces? Hmm. Could this be of use to our forces? Nice bike! This is yours or mine? Could this be of use to our forces? Nice bike! Is this yours or mine?
The invasion of the Darklings has roused long dormant ancient beings. Brave adventurers have set off along the trail in hopes of finding dragons. In Dragon Trail, you will be able to claim a certain amount of treasure every day, depending on how many quests you have completed. There's no time to lose. We must set out immediately. May the moon bless all beings. I accept your challenge. Just as a tree cannot grow without rain, a city cannot grow without knowledge. The School of Sages contains the fruits of our people's wisdom. You can research technologies here. Wind guides my arrows.
while stock flat. Fine, lilac one, freshly plucked forest eagle feathers. I have even got genuine mithril brooches. Act now to avoid disappointment. What's that, sir? A headache? Well, I have got some spirit grass here, but I would recommend seeing a doctor. Morning, Tella. Oh, good morning, Chacha. What can I get for you today? Not got much in the way of game. Uh, could I offer you some fruit? Uh, I'm not looking for food. Wanted to know if you sold this stuff. What have you got here? Let me see. A big weird bird? Some kind of three-headed snake thing? Huh. This card. Isn't this the John Bear we saw? Ain't you heard? I thought you knew everything, Kella. This card game's all the rage in the city nowadays. There's some people holding a tournament. There's a big prize for the winner. I'm hoping it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> a card game, huh? How do you play? Uh, I'm not sure. I've just seen a goblin merchant selling them. He sold them face down, so you couldn't tell which ones you were getting. But somebody told me that this bird and the snake thing are actually better than the giant bear. That's so. But these cards ain't great quality, and I can't say much for their sales strategy. If it were up to me, maybe I'd give out one free card with each bottle of lilac wine? But it's still too early to tell if this would be a good business venture. I ought to find somebody who knows about this stuff. Where could I find someone like that? Hey, kid. You got any sandstone? Oh, my axe needs sharpening. Quick. Today's your lucky day, Bacar. Never mind the axe. I hear you've tangled with many a beast in your time. You recognize these monsters? That is a thunder rock. And that one's a hydra. They're not just any beasts. They are behemoths. You mean they were born during the Age of Dawn, just like that giant bear? Yep. Ever since we purified the giant bear, we've been finding more and more behemoth tracks. They took their strength from the body of the old god Titan when he fell, just like our ancestors did. Now, they used to stay in their lairs, but ever since the Darklings came, they've been causing all sorts of trouble. Might not be long before we have to fight them. Hmm, Chacha says somebody told him that Thunder Rocks and Hydras are even bigger problems than giant bears. What's their deal, anyway? Thunder Rocks come from Mount Tempest. They are huge. Folks say they've got power over lightning. And Hydras are even worse. They are poisonous from head to toe. And they're crafty to boot. Oh, so that's why they're worth more in the game. Game? What game? This isn't fun and games, Chacha. Behemoths are already tough as it is. You add mana stone to the mix. Oh, they're even more ruthless. Purifying a giant bear was hard enough. Trying it on a thunder rock or a hydra. Oh, I don't even want to imagine. And now you want to play games with them? Show us monster hunters some respect. I take it easy, Bacar. It's kind of like how people started worshiping dragons. Sure, they're scary and dangerous, but it's just pictures on a card. Uh-huh. I get what you mean, Bacar. Thunder rocks, hydras, and dragons. When they come knocking, I ain't running away. All right. 
Just don't spend all your time playing when you could be training. Anyway, kid, about that sandstone. How's about this diamond? Way better than sandstone. Now that I know they're behemoths, I better get working on a business strategy for this card game thing. <gasps> Maybe I could put Drunky on one of those cards. <laughs> what level would you be, Drunky? Rarer than a dragon, I'll bet. 